In this video, I will show how easy it is to set up a guest SSID with a captive portal using social media login and a tiered use payment plan. To get started, select the configuration from the left-hand navigation. Currently, there are no SSIDs configured. Clicking on the Add New SSID starts the easy four-step process. First, we start by naming the SSID. I will call this one Guest Wi-Fi. Note the profile name automatically gets added. It can be changed later if desired. Since this is going to be a guest network, clicking the Guest Radio button makes an additional tab available at the top of the section. Clicking the Next button at the bottom of the page takes us to the next step. Next, we need to select the security we want to use. Since this is a guest network, let's leave it open and use a captive portal to restrict access. Click Next to configure the network settings. Here we can set up the VLAN for this SSID and determine if the AP bridges, tunnels, or uses NAT for user traffic. At this point, we can save the SSID and turn it on, but since we want to set up a captive portal, we will save and continue. Click on the Captive Portal tab at the top of the section. Tick the checkbox to enable the captive portal. This will display the portal splash page and the settings. Clicking on the Authentication Plugins and Quality of Service panel opens it for configuration. Here we can select which options we want to enable for logging on to the captive portal. Let's add social media logins and enable Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Let's also allow guests to log in with their own username and password. Allow them to self-register. Let's also set up tiers for free and paid Wi-Fi service. To configure the service tiers, click on the free and paid Wi-Fi panel. It will allow guests to use Wi-Fi free for one hour each day. To set up payment tiers, click on the currency and click on the add tier button. The first tier will charge $2 for four hours of use. A second payment tier will charge $5 for eight hours of use. That's all we have to do to configure the social media logins and payment tiers. Click Save to save the settings and click Save again to save the plugin configuration. Now that it's been configured, we can preview the splash page by clicking on the panel. The preview show what users see when they connect to the guest SSID. Since everything looks good, click Save and Turn SSID on to make the SSID available. Going back to the main configuration page shows the guest Wi-Fi SSID was created and is running. This video shows how easy it is to set up a guest SSID with a captive portal using social media to log in and a tiered Wi-Fi service plan.